Guys, meet again with Kanima Sports. Jamahal Hill has made one of the most impressive and bizarre knockout wins in UFC history. Jamahal Hill, who at that time fought Johnny Walker in light heavyweight at the UFC Vegas 48 event, had confused MMA fans when they witnessed Johnny Walker's knockout defeat. The reason is, Johnny Walker lost control of his body after receiving a precise overhead hit from Jamahal Hill, until it fell like a fallen tree. But it turns out that in the history of the UFC itself, there have been some far more bizarre knockout defeats. This is the strangest knockout in UFC history. Charles Oliveira vs. Cub Swanson Charles Oliveira has indeed proven that he is a top fighter in the lightweight class. Even his journey to becoming a champion has earned him several records in the UFC. But long before that, Charles Oliveira had suffered a very strange knockout defeat. That fight took place at UFC 152, when he met Cub Swanson. In the fight, Charles Oliveira led the ground fighting early on, but Swanson managed to get up. After that, Cub Swanson managed to land a vicious blow to the body. Swanson then continued the attack that landed squarely on Oliveira's jaw. Oliveira took a few steps back and looked fine. But moments later he fell and was in pain. Oliveira was then declared defeated at 2.40 minutes of the first round. It was this delayed reaction that then made the knockout defeat very strange. Oliveira, who was young and talented at that time, had to accept a painful knockout defeat in under three minutes. Kara France vs. Rogerio Bontarin At UFC 259 which took place in Las Vegas, Kai Kara France met Rogerio Bontarin from Brazil. Kara France, who has a 5-2 record in the UFC, managed to win a strange knockout battle over Bontarin, who at that time, had a 2-2 record in the UFC. In the fight Kara France was able to dominate in most of the fight, but Bontarin also managed to get a back mount, and a tight rear naked choke. At the end of the round Kara France managed to come out and deliver a surprising combination, that made Bontarin fall face first to the canvas. The next oddity occurred when Kara France tried to strike back at Bontarin, who was lying on the canvas, until referee Herb Dean stopped the attack. Bontarin, who looked annoyed by Kara France's efforts, threw his mouthpiece. Even so, there was no commotion resulting from that incident. Edson Barboza vs. Shane Burgess This is perhaps the strangest knockout loss in UFC history. Edson Barboza, who managed to beat Shane Burgess at UFC 262 in the featherweight bout via knockout in the third round. What makes this knockout defeat strange is the delayed reaction similar to the movie scene, when Shane Burgess takes a hard hit from Edson Barboza. At that time, Edson Barboza's blow hit Shane Burgess, but Burgess was able to appear as if Barboza's punch had no impact on him. But after a while, Burgess showed the tremendous impact of that hard blow. After 5 seconds, Burgess then stumbled backwards and lost control of his body, until he leans on the fence and then fell face down. Not only the audience and performers were confused by the incident, even Edson Barboza himself was also confused by what happened to Shane Burgess. This was the strangest win that Edson Barboza had in his entire career. guys, that's the weirdest knockouts in UFC history. Do you think there are other wins that are even weirder in the UFC or outside the UFC? Please let us know by leaving your comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in another video.